Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Fat City. A weird name. I would not call my game, for example, Fat Shooty Mans, but nevertheless. Also, I should note this game takes place in New York City, so am I to imply that New York City is a population of land whales? I don't know. Anyway, so here's the idea. We... We... Our sister was kidnapped and taken to New York City. And now we have to go to New York City and do a bunch of jobs for the guys who stole our sister. That's pretty much it. That's extremely threadbare, isn't it? But nevertheless, we'll just have a look around. So the idea is we have five areas. The last one I have not unlocked yet after an hour's play, but I imagine it'll come around sooner or later. And every one of these areas has jobs in them and diamonds to be earned and money to be earned. So we'll just go into this 77% one here first just to show you what I mean. So there is a series of levels that are interconnected and you need to beat them in order to move along. And as you can see here, you start out at this stage here, I believe, and then you move up through those lines. So whenever you beat a stage, you unlock the stages it's connected to. And every stage has three diamonds you can earn. So let's go on to Eyes on the Ace. And we will have a look at Fat City. It reminds me a lot of Pac-Man, in a sense. Like, if we just um, close this briefing real quick and have a look at the map. So as you can see here, you've got the cops moving, and if your characters touch the cops, that's it. The, the game's done, and you have to start over again. But we have a bunch of tools that can help us with this in order to get to specific areas. So we've got Ace here, who is our second crew member for this time, and he has the ability to cut alarms. And as you can see here, these red buildings are the alarms. And if we steal from the bank that is marked by those two blue glowing paths, we will have cops come from both of them and come straight after us. Problem being that we need to actually get the money from that area in order to... We need to get the money from that bank in order to actually succeed in the mission. So what we're going to do is we're going to send Ace up this way. And then we're going to send him back down here. And hope that I've got the timing right. Because as you can see, these cars continue to move no matter what you do. So, we we need to time it perfectly. So, we need to... Well, first thing we need to do is we need to get our guy to the bank. Then we need to send him right back home. Like this. So, the idea is every stage can be completed in a certain amount of time and if you do that you get a bonus diamond so there are three diamonds for every stage finish the stage get the diamond that's on the stage and beat the stage in the time limit so what we're going to do is we're just going to hit go and see how this works because well yeah not much else we can do really immediately get busted off screen now here's a big problem that i really don't like the camera automatically starts out zoomed in like that so we actually have to actively zoom the camera out and I usually show the options menu but now we'll show it here and this, I, you can only change the sound effects and the music you can't actually change the default camera position which is infuriating we can also tap this up here to use a actual good path so we can actually see what the optimal path is and we can also go and buy stuff from the store now we can hire a guy for this we can hire a guy for this job, but we won't do that because we probably don't need him. And we can also go and buy specific tools for our guys. So, we have EMP grenades and alarm jammers and, and RFID decrypt tools here for good old Ace. And for Nox, we have the speed safe cracker, the facial ID scrambler, and the sneak and sprint mode. For some reason, a lot of these power-ups are literally just keep the cops off your back. Like, if you get into trouble with a cop, you'll just, you know, automatically avoid them. But nevertheless, let's just zoom out to the full view here so that we can make sure that we can do that. So we just used an ability and he just went right through. Now, Ace is at the alarm, so we'll get him to cut that. And while Nox moves onto the actual bank, we will cut the second alarm while he's working on that. And away Nox goes. So yeah, as you can see, this is mainly a game of timing. There's 
I mean, there is some strategy involved in choosing when to use your power-ups and when not to, and you do get a fair amount of money at the end of every stage. Like, we did just use the optimal path in order to get through that stage, just so I don't have to be a complete idiot on camera and not make the game look absolutely terrible, because it really isn't. But yeah, as you can see, we just earned a ton of money and a bunch of diamonds there. Diamonds aren't, actually can't be spent on anything. You only get them for, like, completion purposes. But... At the same time, it is always a good idea to get three diamonds because every diamond you get gets you more pay. And the more pay you get, the more stuff you can earn. So we'll just do this level and then we'll move on to a level where the demolitions expert comes into it. So we've got a lot of gates to go through here. So I'm going to see if I can solve this one on my own. Uh, we're going to have to send Mr. Knox down through a area like this. Actually, I think I'll buy an EMP grenade for Ace because these can actually... Oh, well, I already had a bunch of EMP grenades. But nevertheless, they can stop a cop car in those tracks. So those are actually very useful. All right, we will send him over here straight to the bank and then back up here to that. We won't worry about the danger diamond in this, in this level. And Ace will come up here and stick around there. Then we'll send him... Not that way. We'll send him back around here. And then we'll just have him hang close for the rest of the level. So, we'll time this so that that first cop car is running into Ace. So we can sell off an EMP grenade. Thankfully, the power-ups you do buy do get transferred from level to level. So, there, there we go. Okay, now they're together. And we can sell off that gate. Rob the place. Open the gate up. Those gates close in a few seconds, so yeah. I really don't get why they have that close view be the default, because this overhead view is a lot more useful. It really is. So yeah, we missed the danger diamond, but we still got 4,500 from that. And as you can see, I've currently got over $150,000 in the bank, and I haven't seen a utility that costs more than 2,500. It might do. It might cost more money to hire someone on a level that they're not in, but nevertheless, we will have a look anyway, because we're on our way to Queens. Unfortunately, there's no, like, visual differences. There are some gameplay differences between the levels, like, as you can see, we can actually close a path on this area, and we can also, and we can also blow open walls. But there's just, there's no visual differences between the different districts, which is a little disappointing, but nevertheless. We're actually being told what to do here, which is kind of obvious. But nevertheless, we'll do it anyway, because there is probably another level after this, which is a little bit more... Which is a little bit more, little bit more tactful, I guess the word I'll be looking for is. Nevertheless, better zoom out so that I can see that guy. It does show you like a prompt. That's like, oh, hey, hello, you've, um, you're, you've got a guy here, you want to press that so that can do something, but yeah. It's always better to stay in this view so you can see what the hell's going on. I've never heard of the developers behind this game, so I looked them up. Apparently they're behind a bunch of Disney games. I think they also worked on a Skylanders game, but I might be getting that confused. But nevertheless, they've actually done a fair few things, and... To see them come out with a game that's exclusive to Vita is a little bit strange. Considering they've worked on pretty much every other console by the looks of things. Have fish slip into the patrol route to create an impossible obstacle. Alright, sounds easy enough. So we'll just close the briefing here. Yeah, this, this view is infinitely more useful. I don't get why. Alright, so we will... Yeah, as you can see, this is mainly a timing at level. Like a massively... Timing focus level. So, there we go. So we'll hit go. I've... Definitely time this wrong. Yeah, so as you can see, if you don't get your timing right, you just immediately fail, which is kind of annoying. Thankfully, it does save your path and stuff, so you can, you know, just... If you get your timing wrong by pure accident, you can literally just hit go again, and off you go. Although, to be fair, it really doesn't help anyway. Not great. Can we hire the guy with the EMP grenade for this? Like, just for the purpose of demonstration? We probably can. No, we can't actually hire Ace on this stage. Bugger. Oh, well. So, let's... 
Wait for all right now. Nope, that wasn't the right thing to do. <laughs> you know, I'm curious. I want to see how much it usually costs to use this map cheat up in the top right here. So all right, we got we get the free use here, so we'll just hit go. Go and uh so yeah, the my one problem with this is that it doesn't really help you with the actual timing. Oh. So yeah, it doesn't help you with the actual timing of the, you know, just hitting the go button to begin with and not actually running across the cops or anything like that. So it gets a little annoying after a while, but nevertheless, it really doesn't take long to figure out exactly what you need to do. This is really what it looks like. This is, this is so strange, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, now the... Now the alarm guy can't get out. So it is an interesting concept, and I do like the idea of it. It's... I, I'm not entirely sure what I'm thinking of. I'm reminded of that game Subversion that Introversion Software were working on that they eventually dumped for Prison Architect. Where you have to just, you know, plan out your heist and make sure it all goes right, except it's on a sort of like pac man -y style maze. And... It's not- it's a neat idea, honestly. It's- I don't mind it, it's just- I think it's a little bit too expensive. I mean, the game isn't particularly deep, and while it doesn't have anything like microtransactions, because it does feel like a bit like a mobile game, you've got your three- three star thing there. You've got things that look like that would be microtransactions, but you get a ton of money, so they really aren't that big of a deal to buy. It just seems like that they're actually kind of overpowered, especially the fact that Everyone's got at least one tool they can use to completely stop a cop car in their path, which really breaks half the puzzles if you think about it. But nevertheless, we will give this one a go. Now, out of curiosity, how much does a schematic cost? 10,000 bucks? That's not actually bad, considering there's not that many puzzles in the game. There's like 50-something levels, so if you have like 50 grand, you can... Well, you don't even really need 50 grand. You can get most of it done on... You can break most of the puzzles purely by... Uh, you know, buying the right tool for the job. It's a little bit disappointing in that sense, but nevertheless. Uh, looks like, whoops. It looks like we can't really get past that wall, so we need the demolition guy to get in there and blow it up for us. Also, I've noticed that the game does actually have a button control scheme, but it's actually kind of confusing to use, and the game works fine on the touchscreen. So, if you do plan on picking this one up, the touchscreen is the way to go. Nevertheless, here we go. It's just slightly disappointing that the game is $12.99. I reckon the game would work a lot better if it was a little cheaper. Like, if I was just to throw a random price out there, $7.99. I reckon $7.99 for this would be a hell of a lot better than the $12.99 that it currently is. It just seems a little bit too expensive, at least for my personal taste. Maybe for you, you don't mind paying $13 bucks for this, but... It doesn't really have that much content to it, and what content it does have, you can just buy a bunch of power-ups and just blow through pretty much any puzzle that you feel like doing. It's kind of disappointing in that in that regard. Let's go to the store. Uh, nope, you still can't buy Ace. I know there's one level where you can buy him, and there's a, there was a level where we could buy fish. Maybe it's that... Uh, I don't know what it's about. Anyway... So this looks like a fairly simple timing puzzle, if not anything else. We will get fish to blow that up, I guess. Actually, what does fish have? He has 3C4. Alright, so we'll get him to just... Can't be that simple, can it? Yep, knew it couldn't be that simple. Almost had the timing too, so... It's just a little bit annoying considering how different the timing can be if you wait for a specific moment in time. It's also kind of hard to tell ahead of time just where all the cop cars are going to be, so... 
Hang on, we'll just blow that up, and yeah, I've completely missed that. But yeah, so I might as well show an example of how you can just completely break a puzzle. So, we'll wait for the game to load again. It's a little annoying that it has to load like that, but it's not that big of a deal. There we go, so we'll buy two smoke grenades for this level. More cost effective than buying the, um... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more cost effective than buying the uh, perfect run strategy, at the very least. But yeah, as you can see, we pretty much just completely broke that puzzle just by paying 5,000 bucks, which isn't even the cost for the perfect run schematic, so... Game's not really that challenging to begin with, if you want me to be honest. I mean, like, I'm stupid, but I've got this down pretty well. One more puzzle and then I'll then I'll call an end to the video. But yeah, my personal opinion is that it's a little bit too expensive. When it gets cheaper, it's probably worth a more in-depth look at it. And by more in-depth, I mean, you know, just, you know, consider it more often. But at the same time... Oh, alarms. So I imagine, yeah, we can actually hire Ace for this. And it actually didn't cost us any money. How odd. Alright, so we'll buy a couple of alarm jammers. I don't know if this is actually going to be doable, but nevertheless. Alright, we'll send him up that way, and we'll send this guy down this way, and we'll just get him out of the way after the thing, so... And, of course, we have to send Nox through the stage. Okay, so he's got the cash. And we'll just send him out. We won't worry about the Danger Diamond. Let's do this. Nope. <laughs> Alright, I'll buy, I'll buy something else, because why not, right? Thankfully, your pickups do carry over from level to level. If they didn't, I would have been annoyed. It kind of looked like they did in the very beginning, but, you know, you, you, have, you have to pay attention to these things. And you know me, I don't pay attention to things. Which is why I completely fucking miss that there, there are health pickups that look dangerous, but aren't actually that dangerous in Zeo Drifter. A little bit disappointing. And also, I kind of miss the ability to do the C4 there, but nevertheless... It's a neat idea, gameplay's fun, it can be really, really easy to break though, especially when you've got as much money as I do. Because a bunch of the levels in the beginning of the game are like tutorial levels, and you get three diamonds on them no matter what you do. So you have a ton of money right off the bat to break puzzles with, and that gives, gives you even more money to break puzzles and yada 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 yada. And there aren't even that uh, many puzzles to do, like Upper Manhattan and Lower Manhattan are... Uh, Probably going to have around the same amount of puzzles, so... You'll probably have around 60, 70 puzzles. I think they said 60 or 70 puzzles in the description for the game on the PSN. Oh, goddammit, brain. Help me remember things sometimes. But, nevertheless, it, it, it might be a bit short. But it's not bad. Not by any means. Just a little bit too expensive for my personal taste. That was a look at Fat City. Not bad. Too expensive. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.